Yeah, who knew, like we said earlier, that a, that a little slice of turkey can take the edge off? Uh, you know, I know Thanksgiving can put you to sleep, but uh, what if you're stressed out? Well, our nutrition expert, Joel Detgen from Windmill Farms, is here again today. Good to see you, Joel. How nice you been? Nice to see you, too. Thank you. You're always I, relaxed, though. I try, but I'm a little revved most of the time. I just hide it. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Well, now, what's, what are you going to tell us today about foods and how they can affect our mood? The one thing we have to keep in mind is that when we're stressed out, it produces a lot of uh, negative effects on the body. It's kind of like having your foot on the accelerator all the time in your car. It produces a lot of exhaust. So a lot of hormones and a lot of waste product in, in your system. Yes, so. a lot of organs shut down. So the body, because when we go in what's called the sympathetic nervous system, it's the fight or flight. All the sugar dumps in, the arteries constrict, the blood pressure goes up, and all the vital organs uh, get food, but the digestion and the rest of it don't get any nutrients. So, it so keeping everything. the stress level down is good on a lot of different levels. Oh, yes. Then. It actually okay. starts with good breathing. If we can learn to take deep breaths and relax, it helps to calm the mind down. You go. know what? You just said that, and I thought, I'll take a deep breath, and I realized that I've probably been shallow breathing all morning long mm -hmm. because I actually felt, when I took that deep breath, a, a, a physical reaction to that. It does. Interesting. It calms us down quickly. And it was pr totally vol uh, involuntary when I did it. I just took a deep breath. Your well, body knows. It really knows. It, it gets too acidic. It builds up too much CO2. And it wants to calm itself. So down. you're really in tune with that. Uh, talk to me about uh, some foods then that are good foods to eat for stress. And we'll put some things up on the screen here as well. Turkey is one of the best because it has a, an amino acid called tryptophan. Now, we know that's the thing that knocks you out and puts you to sleep. Yes, that's why it's good to have it night before bed. Okay. <laughs> if you have it at lunch, sometimes at work you might find yourself dozing. So it's good to have it right before bed or sometime late in the afternoon. Maybe a little bit small glass of wine helps too. Now what else have you got here that will kind of have the same effect and kind of calm you down a little bit? Believe it or not, bananas work really well because they're high in magnesium and potassium. And those are two minerals that the body uses to relax everything. So when it starts now, to constrict... we'll talk about potassium too in terms of uh, avoiding cramping and so forth. Is that still valid or is oh, that yes. an old wives' tale? It's very valid. When, when the body uses up too much potassium, then everything starts to cramp down. It needs to relax. So that's what those are in there for. Okay. The muscles, they constrict and they, come up, they go back and forth with magnesium and calcium back and forth all day long. So just kind of run through the others there and then we'll move on to... Uh, we, got, some... we brought some uh, apricots also, which are very similar to the uh, peaches. And they're really good in fiber, too, because fiber has to move all of that stuff out. It binds on to the toxic waste and moves it right out of the system as quickly as possible. Most people don't realize it, but chocolate has an energizing and a relaxing effect on most people. That's why they use it for mood. People say they just crave it. Their body's trying to find some balance. And when they say they crave it, they really are it's in, a little in most cases. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Because it's helping with different nerve responses. It also is a precursor to uh, tryptophan serotonin, which helps the body to relax. You've got different kinds of chocolate here, too. Yes, we do. Well, it's really neat. We can actually make uh, rice milk chocolate now, which is almost as good as regular dark chocolate or, or regular milk chocolate. And it has, uh, it's loaded with the cacao bean, which is a high content, 50 to 70 percent. So you're getting a lot of nutrient value, a lot of antioxidants. And that's where the, the dark chocolate comes in? Yes. This is the We've raw, heard it's so good for you? really bitter stuff that most people won't want to use by itself. You want to add a little bit of honey to it, you chew on it a while, but this will energize you for probably two to four hours and then keep you calm at the same time. It's a very different effect. Okay, another category here, and we've got a screen we can put up, and we're yes. kind of running short on time, so I'll kind of get through this kind of fast. Uh, go ahead and put the next full screen up there for us, and I'll let Joel talk about right. these. Stress Buster Herbs. We have Milk Thistle, which helps, the liver has to detox everything that goes through the body, so we brought that in there, it helps the body to metabolize it quicker. And then we have a product here called Stress Advantage, which is loaded with ginseng, rhodiola, works on the adrenal glands, the kidneys, and helps to remove the body from all that stress and waste. Okay, so there are herbs that you can take as well. And, and again, teas. stop into Windmill Farms and see, uh, see Joel if you need a complete list of all these things. Uh, finally, things to avoid, things that might really work the opposite way on you. Hydrogenated oils, those plastic fats seem to keep the arteries from moving in the right direction. They're we, bad on all kinds of levels. Oh, it's really, we know really that bad. Now. We need to kill those things entirely. Uh, the second thing is sugar. Sugar revs us up, makes us feel good for a few moments, but drops us down. And then you down. crash. And then we crash very quickly. And that's pretty much it. Stimulants. We like to go to coffee because we're stressed, but the truth is coffee is more designed for food, not as a beverage. Really? So coffee can be a little bit of a, a, a problem for us. Only when we use it by ourselves, large quantities of milk and sugar in it. So it's going to stress the body out more and put us in that fight or flight. All right. So uh, I, I guess what we're saying, again, overall, is if proper diet, proper exercise, uh, you just feel better. Yes, that's a good point. Some people need to exercise to remove stress. Others don't need to exercise. They need to sleep. You usually know what you are. I know I have to sleep. When I get stressed out, I don't go to the gym. I go home and take a nap. Other people say, i got to go work out. Interesting. Your but you have to knows. listen to what your body is right. saying, and that, that's what you preach whenever you're in here. Yes. Joel, it's always great to see Thank you. Thank you for having Thanks me. Thanks for coming in. Again, more Enjoy information it. at fox6.com, as always, if you'd like to know uh, more about what we talked about here today.